I'm honored to be here alongside everybody who is here to say fund people's needs, not the war machine, to stand up when everyone says that you shouldn't stand up, to go against the lies, to go against the demonization, to go against the hatred. This is an event that they didn't even want to happen. The powers that be, whether they be in the White House, whether they be in the Washington Post, whether they be in the Congress, the Federal Reserve, the IMF, the World Bank, the Alize Palace in Paris, the White Hall in the UK, none of them want this to be out here. They want people to be confused. They want you to somehow think that it's progressive, that it's good, that it's morally right to spend hundreds of billions of dollars to fight for the last Ukrainian. For what? Just for the ability of the United States government to control the whole globe. That's what it's all about. I have never known a moment of black freedom for my entire life. And yeah. yet they're saying that we are working, we are agents of some foreign power. Because we say black people must be free. Because we say Africa must be free. Yeah. Because we say African people everywhere must be free. Yeah. And we are here today to tell them that they don't have enough flashbang grenades in their arsenal to stop this struggle of black people and the oppressed peoples of the world to win our freedom. Yeah. I think it's important to think about the dimensions of the madness here. The United States could not defeat the Taliban in Afghanistan after 20 years. So let's go to war with the People's Republic of China and Russia. Think of the, think of the magnitude of that craziness, and yet there's no debate. Look at the mainstream media, the corporate media. They'll describe this demonstration as the far left or Russian apologists or something like that to demonize us like they demonized the Russians, like they demonized the Chinese, like they demonized the Syrians, like they always demonized the Palestinians, like they demonized the Iraqis and the Cubans and the Venezuelans and anyone who wants to be free and independent from the empire. Let me explain something to you about this fight that we are in Brothers and sisters, there's a narrative out there that says that we're only supposed to be focused on ending this one war in Ukraine and every other evil thing the United States government does with its imperialist bloodthirsty planning and actions and bombings and interventions and coup d'etats everything this government does around the world and in our communities here those things don't matter all we need to do is end this war in ukraine that's the big deal that's the thing we need to focus on but let me explain something to you this capitalist system is at the foundation of every evil thing that comes out of this white house and the congress that creates the policy yeah. and capitalism exists it grew and it thrives on the exploitation of people who are different from the folks who hold the power. Yeah. So explain to me, y'all, how we are supposed to end war if we don't destroy capitalism. Yeah.